Good morning and welcome to Benoni for this international Australia up against Ireland and the momentum one day international the only one between these two in the South African summer what a gorgeous day it is here in this part of the world and Australia in the field with uh, William Porterfield winning the toss and deciding to bat first on a pitch that looks pretty good same one as they used on Sunday a little bit of water overnight on it just to keep it from cracking but it does look pretty good for batting Oh, that's a massive hit. That is a sweet stroke from Sterling. That's gone high over extra cover onto the bank. Rare authority from Ireland. A wonderful blow. Short pulled six. Super shot. Well, what Sterling can do, so can Porterfield. That has gone way back. Ireland starting to cut loose. That was a superb shot. Once again, dragged down the length. Short this time and one bounce over the rope. Nearly, very nearly for Worrell. I thought he'd go short and he's got the plan. And the man set out there. In the air and taken. Struck firmly, but straight to cover point. Sterling's gone. Well, what a pity for Ireland and for Sterling as well. He was playing so well. It's some um, terrific strokes in his innings. Short. Just clubbed away for four. 50 up for Ireland. <laughs> Just tucked away. And he's played it well, Anderson. It wasn't particularly short, but he's able to just jab it away for four. Wide of mid on. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be out. That's going to be out. And yeah, his confirmation, it was, well, as I said, just did him. He didn't pick it at all out the hand. And he was back, and it was too quick and threw him. Big appeal for LBW. Gone. Scott Boland strikes timeously for Australia. Batsman having a bit of a think. In line, but has it bounced? No, umpire's call. So Bongani Jelly is just, just trimming the top of the stumps. That's all he had to judge. And he's done it successfully as umpire Bongani Jelly. So the review this time for Ireland fails. He's got him, he's got him, another one gone. Australia now have turned this game. They're right on top, and that is the first for Daniel Worrell, his first ODI wicket. He gets rid of Wilson, the merest of touches. It's a regulation catch from Matthew Wade. And Ireland are now four down. Big appeal, LBW hits the stumps. Could he be run out as well? Wow. Whilst looking at the umpire for the response for the LBW, has Terry been a little bit sluggish and not been grounded behind the line it deflected to slip who shied immediately hit direct what drama and what trouble for Ireland ball him straight through I was looking to try and get on that back foot the pointer goes for 11 it's 146 for six there's the googly he's got through Good delivery, just the third delivery of the spell. He turns to the googly, it's effective. Crashes into the top of Midlandoff stump. He goes for eight, 158 for seven. Oh, it was airborne for a brief moment. Steve Smith made a valiant effort to try and get his hand alongside that ball, but couldn't do so, and it makes it way to the boundary. A welcome boundary for Ireland. Yes, he's given him. I wondered if it had crashed into the top of the stumps, but it's been adjudged as LBW. So Kevin O'Brien will have to be on his way. And once again, Zampa answers the call, picks up his third wicket of the day. Edge this time, the slip just came out. Steve Smith holds his head in absolute disgust. He changed the field, got the man at the short cover catching. And as soon as he did that, the outside edge is found and a weight to the boundary. Up in the air it goes. Someone's getting underneath. It's not easy because it's gone so high, but it is taken comfortably. 
Hastings gets his man, the end of McCarthy, and Ireland lose their ninth. And he's gone straight away. Chase never actually gets to face the ball. It's just chipped away to backward point. Hastings finishes it off with a brace. And Ireland don't get to 200. They're all out for 198. And the gap. And four. Good cut shot. It was just a matter of fact whether it would be cut off by the fielders. The contact was good. Top in the air, should be taken. It, oh dear, oh no, he's put it down. But another bit of disappointment. Fielding hasn't been up to the usual standards on this tour of South Africa. Tries to go over the top and uh, does it well enough. Is it going to go the whole way? Yes, it is. First six of the day for Australia. Oh. Wow. Four. They, they call it a flat bat pump. And that brings up the 50 partnership between the two. Oh, he's got all of that. That is another terrific strike. That's way back. Davy Water at his best. Six number two. That's going to be out, the breakthrough comes, that one stops in the crease, so Tim Murta has got a good change of pace. Davey Warner just played too early, but he made a good contribution. Well, he's got hold of that one. It was like slightly overpitched by Kevin O'Brien and great timing. Short cut, pick out the sweeper, no, sweeper's got to make ground, he won't make ground. That was good placement from Steve Smith. Also, so good how he just waited for the ball to come to him. Yes. Cut away. Ground to be made by the sweeper. Trying to prevent the Kawaja 50. I don't think he has. It's gone for four. And that brings up another half century for Kawaja. A free hit and banged away. Banged away all the way. Six runs. That's for full outside of stump. Steve Smith won't miss out there. Yes. Nicely placed in the gap and they scamper across. 100 partnership between Kawaja and Smith. Full toss, just smashed back over his head. Six runs. Oh. On to a half century. A 14th career, 50. He's got 500s in one day internationals. And they'll scamper across to finish things off. Australia by nine wickets over Ireland. Very comfortable Australia. They were expected to win this one easily, and they did. The batting was uh, convincing.